And the battle over busing takes center stage in Beaver Creek in less than an hour. A vote over the plan to allow RTA to set up three stops near the mall at Fairfield Commons happens tonight. It's a story we've followed for you for months. Now, Robert Lowry joins us live with this next chapter. Robert? Well, that's right. All those three bus stops proposed by RTA all hinge on tonight's decision by the Beaver Creek City Council. And if it is approved, RTA would have to make a couple of changes that were made by an outside transit consultant's findings. Now, this is all for RTA busing over at the Fairfield Commons. It's been a battle going on for more than about two years now, starting in 2011. That's when the Beaver Creek City Council first denied RTA's request for those bus stops. Shortly after, the group lead filed a federal civil rights complaint. The Federal Highway Association came back and said there may have been possible discrimination denying RTA's request. Whether that was intentional or unintentional, they said that there was still maybe some possible discrimination. Now, that brings us to tonight. RTA will be here at the meeting. There will be public comment here at the meeting, and Beaver Creek City Council will decide whether tonight to go ahead with the application for those three changes. Now, we'll be following this story for you for the rest of the night. And LEAD will also be out here at 5:30 for a prayer vigil just and we'll be able to talk with them as well just trying to see what their plans are what their hopes are to get this bus here in Beaver Creek. Yeah, Robert, and real quick, you mentioned a bit ago that RTA would have to make some changes to its proposed plans. What exactly are those changes? Well, as I mentioned before, those are all based on an outside transit consultant's findings. One of them would have to be to move the boarding pad for those buses extended about 30 feet from the original design. Another one would have to move two of those bus stops a little bit further away from the intersection, all just safety precautions that the consultant made. And once again, actually, if it is approved, RTA has about 15 days to get new designs to the city council. And as I said, this is all depending on the approval tonight here at the municipal building starting at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Beaver Creek, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.